Hello, Tom from Every Step Calculus, everystepphysics.com. Uh, problem in physics here. Student sent into the internet, and I'll show you how it answered on my, how it's uh, solved in my programs, okay? Um, I'm going to go through a couple things you need to remember about these things as we do this problem. Uh, go to physics in my the main menu. Press enter. And we're going to scroll down here now to um, planets because anything to deal with satellites or probes or Earth or Jupiter or whatever we're going to well, comes under the heading of planets in my menu. There's planets there. Press enter. And we, we're looking for the force on a satellite, okay? Because really, this is the problem we, we're after right here. This is a tough one. This kid said, this part I don't know how to do. Um, the first part, part A, is of course the force of gravity is mg, which is mass times gravity and gravity on earth is 9.81 meters per second squared and you'd multiply 470 times that 9.81 and you'll get up to close to 4600 newtons okay so you can do that yourself you don't need my programs to solve that okay that comes up all the time in physics and you need to know how to do that the force of gravity they call it different things like gravitational force and stuff. You have to kind of get used to that. But so this is the force on a satellite. We got a satellite here and we're looking for the force. We're going to choose number eight. You can press the number in front of the item here in the menu, number eight, or you can scroll down with the cursor here. I'm going to press number eight. And I tell you what we're doing, kind of sure that you know you're going to the right section of the menu and we're given mass and radius right here's the mass up here and then, and then of course the radius of the orbit is here so that's what we're going to choose okay number three I'm going to press number three gravitational force FG on a satellite circling the earth given satellites mass and a radius from the surface or center of the planet sometimes they'll trick you on this thing and give you the um, radius from the surface of the planet of any planet and so then you need to know the radius of that planet because everything is computed from the center of a planet not from the surface okay so really learn that and understand that it's always the same and so if they asked you that then there's a way in my program it'll do that we're going to enter the mass of the satellite have to press alpha first alpha 470 press enter and it's in kilograms so make sure you if it wasn't you could do all these different calculations to make it kilograms because all the formulas are in that I show you what you've entered looks pretty good we're going to say okay now I'm going to now we're going to enter the distance or the orbit of the satellite is given from the planets and here we go I get center or the surface okay if you said the surface then you need to give me the surface and they need to give and I'll give you the radius of the planet so we're saying center which it, which it is here here's center of the earth okay we're going to choose that and we're going to enter the radius that they give you alpha 3.3 .3 times E this double E over here is the scientific notation on the titanium and to the fourth power 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth power is kilometers that's a trick here now so we enter that and then well here we have centimeters meters meters and kilometers number four and so that makes this not three to the four but three to the seven because we're multiplying times a thousand you write that in your paper and I always give you the chance to change in case it's a mistake I give you the gravitational constant, Newton's constant, and the mass of the Earth here. Anytime we're dealing with the Earth, I generally do it automatically for you. You have to should memorize these though. E to the minus 11 and e to the 24 kilograms is the. And here's the formula. 
the gravitational constant times the mass of the planet and um, divided by the radius squared. Okay, so here we have 6.67 e to the minus 11 and then the mass of the Earth and the radius that we entered, okay? Now, if you were to do this calculations yourself, you'd multiply this times this, right? And come up with this, and you'd also square the radius and come up with this. And then you divide this in here and come up with this answer here, which is correct. 0.36578 meters per second squared. And so the force of the gravity in the satellite is mg. Here's the mass of the satellite, and then here's the Gra gravity at the satellite's location and the force of gravity is 172 newtons on that satellite okay pretty neat go to my site buy my programs I mean there's only 30 bucks how can you how can you pass that up give you 375 programs it'll do m most of your physics problems remember uh, physics is scored on on the class curve and and partial credit for each uh, question that they would ask you. So, I mean, whatever you can get correct is going to boost your points up. Most of the time, the class curve is very low, like maybe 37 or something. That might be even an A, you know. So, um, I don't know how you can pass up. Throw your, throw your physics book in the trash. Throw your teacher's notes in the trash and study these programs and You'll come. You'll do fine, and you'll have it for the rest of your life. You'll never get rid of this calculator or these programs, and you'll be able to solve this stuff even after not even touching it for 30 years. And you'll be able to pick out this cal calculator and do these problems for your grandkids or your own kids or your partners or whatever you you're into. Okay. So, anyways, think about that. Go to my site, buy my programs, and pass physics. Hey, have a good one.